Okay. Uh, hi, can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I have one question. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, I've just checked the uh, Stradle V web chart. Uh, I could see the difference in Stradle Stradle web chart when I plot a Stradle uh, view up in a Stradle chart. Mm -hmm. I could see the difference in the uh, view and the combination of pre uh, premiums. Combination of premiums. <clears throat> see, ours are uh, one minute closing prices. Mm -hmm. Maybe the difference is due to that. Mm -hmm. And VWAP again, it depends on. Uh, uh, like, let me go there one minute. Yeah. Straddle charts. See here, what is going to happen is we, mm -hmm. all these are going to be one minute closing prices. And uh, we, we just supply closing prices and volume to this tool. Mm -hmm. And the VWAP is built using that. So we, but a uh, few users, I mean, many have uh, actually pointed out that uh, the values are slightly off. So now Correct. I don't know if it's because we can't check what the formula is inside this particular tool. Mm -hmm. We have no idea, but in any way, this is going to be phased out very soon. Probably okay. the next coming weeks, uh, we'll be moving to trading views charts. So that will be more standard, but standard in the sense, we will still be supplying it uh, one minute data only. Mm -hmm. So one minute price and volume we supply and the VWAP will be computed. So now we have to see because uh, difference should not be there. I mean, uh, since there is an issue with this particular tool, the difference might be there. Uh, but uh, otherwise, the difference should not be there. Hopefully, let, let us check what happens in trading view, and then we can see then what we have to do from there. Sure, yeah. Because why I'm saying I can see the difference compared to other tools. You can check yeah. from your end. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. And for there it. is another. We have VWAP here also, but uh, this this particular line, the light blue line that you see, we are calling VWAP, is actually the average traded price that we get from data feed. So you can check this also. This also might be slightly different. So uh, I'm it's not sure how... for day level, right? It's you are showing for day level. Day level in the sense this is intraday. It's, it's for is it for a live chart? It's it's yeah, for this live. Is live. This is okay. live. Every okay. minute. Yeah. Is it, so is it a one minute or three minutes? This is one minute. This okay. is one minute. Yeah. Okay. Where is but it? Any case for VWAP, it should watch. Okay. Yeah, Style Watch, it is over here. Ah, okay, fine. Okay. You're going to take a look. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let us start with uh, uh, cumulative OI change. And uh, anybody, if you want uh, me to clarify, I will. I'll, initially, I'll just explain in English. If anybody wants me to uh, explain in Hindi, just let me know. If anyone wants Hindi, me, uh, iski jankari chahiye, explanation chahiye, mujhse puchiye, main phir se bata dunga iske baare mein. So initially, let me start off in English. Okay, here, by default, uh, I would suggest people go with all strikes option in cumulative OI. Uh, cumulative OI change. What this does is it uh, shows, it starts uh, calculating OI change from uh, 916 onwards. So as we get initially, it will start with zero. So, and then based on whatever OI change is there from morning onwards, from the market open onwards, it starts displaying it. Now, when we say all strikes, when we select all strikes, uh, the total, total OI change of calls is going to be displayed uh, in this green line, which is over here. And this again, I'd like to uh, point this out. You can change these colors, this call and put colors from here. We have done this, but not many have changed it. You can change it here, your preference. Some people uh, like uh, call to have a red because uh, generally from writers, option writers point of view, call is going to be red uh, because uh, due to call writing basically. So pe few people prefer this. So, so you can change it. But over here, uh, the green line is the total OI change of calls and red line is total OI change of puts. 
so generally there are uh, generally all strikes is a good way to do it but uh, if you see now for example bank nifty here there is absolutely no clear direction because it's all over the place this do doesn't happen often but we have been seeing this recently due to a lot of news being there or maybe not sure what it is but if you see nifty you'll see a more clear cut direction here so it all depends i mean for some symbols it may come up clearly on a day and for some it may not so for bank nifty this is definitely confusing i mean so you can you can get some clue based on the fact that the price is above vwap most of the day like only in the morning it was below the day and pcr also has been steadily moving up though pcr has been coming down this blue line is pcr so pcr also has been going up and down so clear indication is not there but the overall bullish picture was there because at least the price was if you see price the price was continuously above vwap here from here actually bank nifty totally diverged i mean options like the it was clearly call writing was going on or either put unwinding was going on because the pcr just went down and the price just flattened out when I mean, it didn't fall so that deviation was suddenly there but at least price was completely above vwap after 10:30 or so now here there are different ways to use this what you can do is if you can select near atm strikes this will give you a slightly clearer picture you can how many strikes around atm to select you can control using this so if you say three strikes then current current is about 362 so here 362 then 361 and 363 are taken so total three are taken including the atm strike so now this what it will do is it will just tell you what is happening to oi change just near the atm because that is where the main trading is going on so this will tell you what is going on exactly at that place and here you can say if you want to fix this if you want a fixed a point of reference then you can select the center strike yourself like what people do is now here morning uh, bank nifty opened at the first 5 minute closed at about 359 it's given over here so 359 is it at close so few would like to just check using that they would just select keep point of reference as 359 and then see what is happening from there so this will tell you throughout the day from the point of view of 359 what is happening basically but in this case once price shot up like the why in both of these options just went down probably people just any uh, calls unwinding because the price went on going up call unwinding and put more maybe they took profits whatever it was the case the call unwinded that's why it would be better if you can move with the strikes so now this will not allow that but if you select this this will allow that now here again near atm strikes three but auto adjust atm strike is automatically adjusted so morning it will start with 3359 as it keeps moving 100 100 points it will this will keep shifting so these three strikes always center one will be atm so whatever is the atm at that current point of time during the day so now now these strikes are being shown at what is happening over here but morning this would have been very different this would have been 358 or so around here 357 358 would have been taken as atm strike then 30 if 357 was taken here 30 356 and 358 would be taken here so as price moves it will continuously tell you what is happening currently at atm around atm at that point of time so this will give you a currently moving picture of oi change so this is a slightly advanced way of looking at it but you you have to know that the whole picture is changing because i mean there are many of our members who have come back to us and they have said that there's something wrong because the all this data is changing suddenly so it doesn't change suddenly it's just that the atm strike is shifting and these strikes are changing so you have to be very careful with this auto adjust atm strike then you have to exactly know why why you have selected this because then this will give you a moving picture actual moving picture of the oi change as the price keeps moving so if things are going now if things are from here things got bullish as the price went above vwap so once it gets bullish here so this overall picture it will 
go on keep giving you a bullish picture but at the moment here if you see completely at this point this picture is definitely not bullish it's saying that overall picture is totally negative because of calls call is significantly more than put so this was a total anomaly not sure why it happened this way but we have seen this happen from time to time i'm not sure exactly why this has happened at all let us just look for nifty how is it same nifty also it has exactly the other way around but if you see all strikes here this will give you a totally different picture that's i usually prefer all strikes because generally overall this the oi may be shifting and this of course since this being only 3 may not give you the proper larger picture if you increase it then this will give you a better and better picture but then you might as well go for you might as well go for uh, all strikes now if you if you do this now if you see the here the difference was pretty large from here the whole scenario actually changed to bullish and here the call oi change decreased over here and then increased slightly but overall if you see from here it has it is flat whereas the put oi change has continuously increased so you would be you would do good if you enable this diff this diff is important let me just remove this you just take a look at this this way you'll see that overall from here the whole picture is changing this diff line will would clearly tell you in which direction the oi change is changing so once this starts moving steadily up then that means it's totally bullish and over here it's clearly bearish so once if you see this i mean totally bearish make sure you just don't take that opposite trade i mean you don't try to like short the calls or something like that you have to make sure that the price is also going that way but if you see even though the oi change the diff fell that means it was more or less bearish but price was flat and then over here actually it consolidated above the vwap and then broke out so after it broke out from this consolidation then actually the oi change started turning bullish actually the price always have confirmation with price this oi change is going to give you clues but still confirm it with price it is very important same here as i said bank nifty was totally very very difficult to trade maybe all strikes let me check same with all strikes also it was very extremely confusing the only clue here was that price was above vwap after 10:30 or so once it broke out it was totally above vwap that was the only clue otherwise oi change did not give any clues at all because oi change for bank nifty was really really off when it was so close there was nothing no ideas could be drawn from it at all so this is about cumulative oi change the main idea again just to repeat you can select selected strikes but you would have to keep changing this so i don't know how useful this particular option is going to be all strikes is always better because it will give you a overall picture what is happening and if any you need any confirmation pcr is there and diff is there both pcr will not tell you like if the uh, what is changing underline if you see over here the underline underline uh, why change when it actually changed from bearish to bullish it was clear here using the diff line and of course pcr also it was quite clear over here but you can at times you can change this because difference this diff orange line is the actually the difference between these two put oi change minus call oi change so this diff being below zero and then going above zero you now here the whole scenario is changing this is what this shows pcr also gives you that pcr mostly whichever direction it is going that is way of obviously piece put oi divided by call oi uh, oi change put oi change divided by call oi change so if the line is going up that means put oi is getting added so put oi change is going more and more positive it is increasing so the pcr will go up so that is the idea of this okay. uh, so so if if the call oi is uh, the the cumulative oi on the call side is going down uh, uh then it means that we are we are moving towards a bullish scenario and if the put oi is increasing uh 
then we are looking at a uh, 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 sorry if the call oi is uh, going down we are looking at a bullish scenario right yes because they are trying to unwind right yes at the same time put oi also has to change because only if call oi is yeah, flat going down then that just means weak bullish weakly bullish but if oi yeah. is strongly going up then at the same time this is coming down yeah this scenario is totally bullish obviously yes okay, okay. Because, yeah, yeah yeah because because if the put oi uh, is not increasing then that means there is no one to defend that price or defend that zone so, yes, yeah exactly. okay 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 thank you yeah. Yeah. thank you thank you thank you okay and there's one another clue that uh, the pcr gives are this flat areas this flat areas are areas where uh, uh, you see this uh, this particular area this area is flat so here it tells you that there is some kind of consolidation or a trend change coming you can you can keep checking these all these areas these are all flat areas which just tells you there is a pause basically if you if you think about it whenever pcr goes flat like this it just means that uh, there is a balance between call oi change and put oi change so that means either i mean calls are being written and uh, written also and puts also are being written or both side unwinding is happening whatever is happening overall total uh, put oi change and call oi change is in balance so whenever, whenever there is a balance it means there is indecision so all these if you see these a flat pcr areas are points where some kind of consolidation is happening so from here the trend can change or it can just continue so here if you see there are long consolidation then price broke out because it was end of the day but here everywhere consolidation break to upside consolidation break to upside consolidation break to upside so these you can take a look at and during the uh, start of the day this could carry a lot more importance because it says whichever side it breaks and pcr moves price moves that is a side where uh, uh, oi has got resolved and it is that would be the likely side where the price would move this that is what this makes it clear so initially during the day this will carry a lot more importance and after that then it this is just confirmation and of course if price moves a lot and then there is a long consolidation then there is definitely one should not ignore that you should be careful because it can change from there so either a consolidation or a trend continuation or a reversal so these can happen So this is about uh, cumulative OI change. Now total PEC OI difference. This is if you see, this chart is going to be exactly the same. I mean, not, nothing. There is not going to be any difference at all in this. The only the presentation is different. We are giving you this same cumulative OI change data over here. This green that you see here is exactly cumulative OI change data. This is where things change. If you see around after 10, 30, 10, 45 or so. Things really change. If you see, this actually was red, but from here it started changing. You, you see the difference. This this column, last column, is the difference between these two. So here itself, from here itself, you will see, you will get the clue that things are changing. This has started happening around ten thirty. So this just gives you the data. And before this changes from red to green, you will get clear cut picture. I mean, if you you can see about two lakhs, three lakhs here, four lakhs. 8 lakhs, 7 lakhs, why change in the positive? So this gives you a clear cut picture actually. Over here, you should keep monitoring this last column. This could give you clues. Because by the time this changes from red to green, it will be quite late. I mean, by 11.15 or so, it changed. And by 11.15 or so over here, like there was a lot of move had happened over here. Of course, you could have still captured, but still. Here itself, around 10.30, here itself, you got lots of clues here. From price itself, price went above VWAP consolidated. Yeah, kindly mute yourself. Please. Kindly mute yourself, please. Can't hear you properly. Who's that? I did not hear you. Anyway, continue. Okay, so this, as I said, this total PECOI just gives you a 
different way to look at it i mean it one one thing if you want to analyze this further it gives you uh total ceoi total peoi the difference between pe and ceoi this is based mostly for positional if you see positional things have remained bearish throughout even though during the day this was all bullish but here the oi itself is totally bearish because there's a lot more if you see a lot more call oi outstanding than put oi at the end of the day so this throughout the day this was red so oi is still so this will give you a positional picture oi oi change will give you what is happening intraday and other other stuff also is there uh, there if you want to analyze it further vwap is there pcr is there this futures price being highlighted in green here means that it is above vwap that is why it is highlighted green if it is below vwap it will be in red this way you have futures why change also just in case you just want to analyze so this you can download the data and do if any further analysis you want to do that's the reason why we have given cumulative why change data over here in table format and also chart is there same everything else is exactly the same the difference is that here you can plot why difference also so this will be this dark red line this is the why difference this if you see is still bearish this is the zero line over here dotted line is zero so this is still bearish this, this will give you a positional picture and why change diff this yellow or orange line this will give you the intraday picture this has gone above the dotted line over here as i said you have to just jump on it take the clues from this last column you see what is happening here and just you get the clues before before that happens before the trend change comes you will get a clear picture of course when i say clues it means that you need lot of oi change then 3 lakhs here 1 lakh here but here it started changing significantly 1035 1036 or so about 4 and 1/2 lakhs 8 lakhs 7.8 lakhs so this was a clear indication until that time not so much and morning very bearish so this you keep monitoring this this will give you some clues here the, of course morning 5 10 minutes leave the leave this after that start looking at it 5 minutes let things get settled down after that you can check here initially it was very bearish tried to turn bullish bearish again and bullish again bearish again here it was significant i mean we tried to people were looking to change the trend but nothing lot of selling came immediately but things changed only over here after 10:30 or so so take a look at these clues then go and take a look at the price picture very important also see what is happening price to the price with respect to vwap and then only then decide on it so total pe cui all these are going to be similar all options are going to be similar when you say near month three here uh, near atm strikes three it just means near atm this will give this will be fixed now this will just take atm at the point when you are loading this and it will not change here option to fix the strike is not there but you can do auto adjust here if you wish to do it but you have to be careful with auto adjust as i said all these options are exactly same as cumulative oi change this is just a different way to look at cumulative oi change in tabular and chart format let's see so this is about total pe coi difference options intraday oi break up now this here is something you can actually uh use for actual trading the way i do it is uh you take this atm strike a few minutes after say uh set this as at 15 minutes very important to set this as at 15 minutes let me take nifty Fifty as an example. Here, now here Nifty sixteen four about sixteen three eight eight was the close. You see over here, sixteen three eight eight was the close after first fifteen minutes. Set this to fifteen minutes because below that you will get too many 
too many signals. So that would be a problem. If you want to know the direction, then set it at uh, 15 minutes. And then, okay, what was that? I said 16.4. So, and then morning, go and set this at 16.4 after 15 minutes. So now this is where I start analyzing. After first 15 minutes, this was indicating a short buildup on the call side and long buildup on the put side. So this means overall bearish, bearish scenario at 9.30. So this particular slot, if you see one thing to note is that the topmost slot that is there current day, this will end at this particular time. So when you look at this, you have to, you have to analyze this after 9.30 only. That uh, once this slot gets over, this slot starts building, but this is not complete. At 9.30, if you are looking at this at 9.35, then only this slot is valid. This slot is actually getting built at 9.35 between 9.30 and 9.45. This will get over only at 9.45, then you can use these values over here. So 9.30, short buildup and long buildup means call side is short and put side is long buildup means Puts are long. That is again bearish. So bearish here and bearish. Here short, a call is being short and, and puts are being bought. So it is overall bearish scenario. You see here. Sixteen. Just a minute. Can you see this? Am I showing it? Okay. Okay, you can see the chart, right? Okay, so here 16.4 call, which is what we are looking at over here. 16.4 call is bearish. And I have plotted a super trend of 10,3 here on a two minute chart. This again depends on the kind of trading that you do. But two minutes, three minutes is fine. Anything more than that, you'll get late signals here. Overall, he, this is, if you're selling a call here, you could, you could have shorted here with a stop loss, provided you are able to hold the stop loss here. If this risk is acceptable to you, then you can short and have a stop loss over here and keep trailing here. You'll be out over here. We'll see about that. I'll open 16.4 put also. At the same time, this is also bullish here. So you could even, either buyers would probably go and buy puts over here, over here somewhere at 9.30 or so, around over here, which would be a wrong time. Of course, even here we are shorting it at the wrong time. But SL is quite close here, so it's fine. If you're shorting it here at say 9.33 over here, your stop loss is over here, or 3.11 to about 2.33. Still 60, 70 points, it's quite, quite large. But by the time you close here, it is the loss is not that much. So you could do that and keep monitoring this. Now, okay, about this here, this is a signal that I call it as a strong signal because short buildup and long buildup, both are strong signals over here. Unwinding and short coverings would be weak. So I would be focusing only on strong signals here. Now this second at 9.45, 9.45, I got a long window. Kindly mute, please. If you have a question, tell me, otherwise mute. At okay, 9.45, call is long and put is short. 9.45, here not yet. So you would, if you want, you could exit here. If you want to play it safe, or you could wait and trade, just exit here itself, not before that. But here, after this point, after this point, since there are no strong signals here, you would, you would be biased towards a bullish signal here after, after 945. Until you see any other strong signal, which was only here, this is not a strong signal. Again, this also is not strong signal. Because short covering here, short covering is there, here, short covering is there. 
this is strong signal this is strong signals after that this is a strong signal so here after 945 you would all be bullish over here because long build up here and short build up here so 945 onwards you are biased towards a bullish signal you would buy a call here because this was at 1030 1030 after 1030 over here so you're over here you're fine because the, your bias would still be long these you can ignore because these are all weak signals. So you would be biased over here. So you either go long, if you're a buyer, if you're a buyer, you would buy calls. If you're a seller, you would short puts over here around 10.30 or so. That's it. So you would get a bigger trade here until it your trailing stop loss hits here or for puts over here, it hits. Before that, if you get a strong signal. Uh, sir, one question. Yeah. Yeah, in this chart, you plotted arrow uh, uh, call up and down. So is this by default or have you selected any in this chart? This uh, earlier, earlier. Oh, this one? No, in chart, chart. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. right. Here? Over here? Arrow. Yeah, so this, yeah. This is, you just need to, what you need to do is, you just need to add super trend oscillator over here. Okay. These arrows will be automatic. I mean, See if you do uh, 10 thanks, comma three. Thanks, thanks. This way. Yeah, thanks. Add indicator, super trend. By default is 10 comma three. So this is how you get it. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks, okay. thanks. Make sure if you plot this indicator, just go and save here. And you can give a name here if you want. So this setting will remain as is. So it'll remain mm. next next time if you load, it'll be there like this way. So you can keep it this way. Okay. So, thanks a lot, sir. Okay, so here now let me show you over here. Long, uh, strong signal was not even here actually, not even 11:45. After 9:45, this was not a strong signal. This at 13:45 and 13:45, bar got hit. You again had the same bullish signal. So nothing. So from here itself, the whole bias was bullish for the whole rest of the day. Now put side, if you see, put side long build up, what happened over here, over here, over here. But on the call side at the same time, it was only long unwind, unwinding. It was not a long build up or a short build up. If you had long build up here and short build up here, then it would be a problem. You would have to then go and check if this is breaking down or something. At the moment, of course, uh, you would by this time you would be out to buy it. Say 12.50, you would be out of this trade. But the signal was still not there. It was a whole throughout the day. It was bullish after that, after this particular signal. So this is about how I would use this one. This works quite fine all the time. I mean, even if uh, the reason for this working is because you're using a combination of uh, open interest uh, signals, OI analysis and price. So all this is built in, you are combining information. So that usually works all the time. If you only rely on OI analysis, then it would get confusing because people keep pointing out that uh, sometimes, many times uh, the cumulative OI change, uh, the call and put line, it will not show properly. It will not show a proper bias. Fine, that is just one of your supporting analysis tools. Don't make that the only analysis tool. You should not do that. Y analysis or any kind of analysis that you do, support it with price and price should be the final because see you are trading eventually, this is where you are going to get your profit or your loss. So this is where you have to decide on your entries, your stop loss, where you are going to get out, whether I can manage this much risk. So if you are buying here, then your stop loss is going to be a little bit below this. So can you tolerate this loss? That should be your main goal I mean, or aim. When you look at that is your caution. So you, if you can tolerate this risk, then you're fine to take. And this particular, this risk that you take, if you are say trading 10 lots, then 10 lots into this much, can you tolerate that? That should be your deciding factor. And that loss should be, if you take this loss, then it should not be too high percentage of your risk, of your total equity. The percentage should be very low. So maybe you risk only one or 2% of your equity, not more than that. So that is how you should size your positions. So then you can keep on taking these trades all the time. So your only aim will be to 
capture one single move like this in a day and that's it you are all set you don't have to catch two three moves per day you get you keep getting if you, you just take a look at the previous charts you will get opportunities every day to capture such moves bigger moves that should be your and from my experience it is of course see not that i don't like option buying but you will see that uh, you will see that when you sell you get you try to tend to capture a lot more uh, profit over here because generally option keeps on decaying and we are looking at weekly uh, options so decay is lot more there over here at the moment dk may, may be less due to the volatility but dk will be there uh, at least on tuesdays wednesdays thursdays mainly on wednesdays and thursdays so buy buys if you see you'll keep uh, if you are buying over here if you get a signal here and you buy here then you you might get stopped out a lot but you'll see that uh, if you sell you keep on capturing i have seen that from my experience i've seen that you capture at least based on these signals you can capture a lot more points if you are selling but buying is still of course if you get a moves like this certainly it's still quite profitable obviously but buying you have to remember to exit quickly because you are working against dk and on tuesdays th wednesdays thursdays dk will start off at least on tuesdays afternoon so you have to be careful if you are buying be precise enter and quickly exit based on your whatever your stop loss methodology is based on that so this is about it the rest of the stuff is clear cut if price if it shows green then it just means it is above vwap and this uh, day high if it is dark green over here it means that it has hit a new day high over here that means it just shows how bullish it is here even though it was show, showing short covering here if you see it had hit price had hit a new high for the day so this just tells you that price is just going higher and higher over here and here this red tells you that the it has hit a new low for the day so put selling is again profitable so it's bullish over here so put is just hitting lows lows and this red shows you the price is below vwap so this is again one more thing you can check total why why change also is there for your reference over here but the main thing to see is this over here and it is it is optional what you can do you can at morning i generally at first 15 minutes that is 9:30 whatever is the atm strike that is what i put here and then usually monitor throughout the day or if you think the market has moved significantly like say market moves 300 400 points then if you want you can change the strike and then keep monitoring that again it depends yeah any question okay fine so this is about it okay any other tools now you want me to uh let me see if there is anything i can talk about i can't hear you can you it is Can't hear Vishal. Are you are you asking something? Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can go through other tools. Any other tools that you want me to talk about? Uh, hi, sir. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sir, could you please explain on um, total P minus C oil change on intraday? uh usage or can you explain that how can we track that or is there any particular way of analyzing that data and also oh, about I just, the uh, i just went through did you join just now oh you just went through it I now went... yeah i just joined ah, okay okay fine okay then uh, i will I... see the recording first okay no. yeah sure i'll pause the recording yeah sure okay here and also sir uh, i just want to ask a question um, um reading the pcr ratio uh, for a, at the money strikes 
uh, on an intraday day for an intraday day basis i'm asking uh, is there is an edge on that i mean for a particular strikes at the money strikes pcr I values would, uh, what i would do is uh, i don't i don't look at this pcr values as such because uh, mm-hmm. see, the values can keep going to one side you should uh, as i had suggested yeah. in cumulative oi change uh, it is better or if you want strike wise if you want to take a look at strike wise go to price versus oi and enable pcr here yeah. so monitoring this uh, blue yeah. line in this pcr line that is lot more useful once it starts going up steadily yeah. just means that uh, uh, the put uh, writing is increasing or call uh, is unwinding in this case call red is call oi so this was unwinding and at the same time put was increasing so this pcr gives you a quick snapshot of yeah. that so instead of looking at the values i think if you look at uh, the trend of the pcr line that is lot more useful Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand it. Uh, sir, is there any uh, tool that shows uh, both call OI and uh, put OI of a particular strike in one 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 window? I mean, is there anywhere like that in one our one window? Is uh, for straddle, you can take a look. If you go to straddle watch, okay, I'm just okay. Yeah. <laughs> in this, these two are for the same strike here in the same window. Oh, okay. These are OI. for the call and put uh-huh. so you can do that okay over here okay so and the pcr is not here uh pcr is pcr is not okay. there over here pcr because this okay. is basically a straddle for monitoring the straddle so yeah pcr is not given here you can probably add it here if it is required sure but it's not there over here uh Okay. Yeah. Um, I I think you could if you could add that will be more value. I mean, um, if you somebody who's serving, I mean, just sure. ask my suggestion. I'm telling, you. yeah. Okay, sure, sure. I'll I'll note it down over here. Yeah, we can add. I mean, it it, it is fine. We should yeah. be able to add it in this. Shouldn't be a problem. The no. Y is already there, so we should be able to add easily. Yeah, yeah. So, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. okay. Here now. Anything else over here under futures that you want me to talk about? Open eye, open low. Uh, basically, this gives you. I'll quickly, briefly explain this. Uh, if day open is selected, then uh, please mute yourself, please. Yeah, here, yeah. When day open is selected, here it will show you at market open, the first minutes open and high. If they are same or very close, then the scripts are listed over over here in the open high column. And if open and low are same or similar, then they are listed over here in open low column. Now, next after few minutes or during any time during the day. if this condition is get broken or rather this high gets changed later on open high here open was 39470 high was the same and later this price gets broken then this will be highlighted in yellow this way because initially if you see this these were same open and high were same whereas the latest high it broke through and went higher so once this happens then we highlight this uh, this script so you can ignore it because this particular condition is not valid anymore that for these highlighted scripts whereas these scripts the condition is still valid now open high are supposed to trade bearish throughout the day generally it's assumed that if the open and high are same the market open and high are same then this are supposed to be bearish and this are supposed to be bullish this yellow have broken the condition so they may not be satisfying that criteria and so these may not be bullish anymore and this may not be bearish anymore of course this did turn out to be bullish so you still have to keep looking at price this only went down by about 10 paise actually not uh, sorry 
it did go significantly less. Three rupees and ten paise. This is still significant. So you can. The conditions are not valid for these yellow ones. The remaining ones are still valid. Now this only talks about. what is happening at market open market open high and market open low but now if you want to see during the day if you want to see what is moving you can click on time frame and maybe select 60 minutes so 60 minutes will tell you what is happening on the current 60 minute bar current 16 minute 60 minute bar that is hourly bar whether open and high are same so for these they are same and it has remained same throughout the hour for one hour and in this case yellow ones for that hourly also it has broken so now here these are bearish so there is a more chance of these being bullish and these being bearish because you are looking at what is happening currently at the current for the current hour actually so this could give you this time frame option could give you during the day what is happening and you could probably have a short list of scripts or stocks that you if you that you might want to just go and check price and probably take entries if you want so these can be traded in bullish direction your bias can be bullish and then of course you cross check with price probably have some indicator and you will know very easily if the price is continuing to be bullish or not you can capture hourly trends you can you can of course you can go down a bit more but then then lot of variation will be there i think hourly is still fine because still reliable trends you can capture so this is about open high open low scan and you have the same in options also you can do the same over here options open high open low also you can do the same for this particular series this time frame and day open probably day more than day open i would say time frame would be lot more useful here because you'll know in this particular hour what is actually moving here open high part for all puts open low for calls and puts over here this is what then then take a look at it here basically this you would be tend you would tend to short and you tend to buy over this open low or bullish so you would buy these these over here listed over here and these you would be looking to sell of course cross check at least cross check just vwap and make sure that they are trading below vwap and then you can probably trade in that direction so this will give you a quick quick view uh, mainly if you select the time frame 60 minute 30 minute probably you will get a good idea over here and this also you can select all strikes if you want to see more but near atm strikes would be lot more useful here you unless you want to go out and short so then probably far strikes you can see otherwise only near near also this is 15 strikes near the money so you still get slightly far so you are fine with it so this is about options open high open low now these other tools this is a positional based tool device this will give you overall what is happening since the last few days for this particular expiry this last column that you see here five day build up this is very important this will really tell you what is happening at the moment this will give you build up will give you a day to day picture whereas this will give you a summary kind of thing last five days what is happening last five days price change is this negative and why change is positive so total short build up is going on since last five days that is what this gives you a clear picture and last since many days since almost 7th only about 3 days 3 days were like long build up days bullish days the rest were all negative overall this is what this tells you mainly for positional just to see what is happening long term now this gives you you can check this to see if the volume is really coming into the market or not one is of course you get for intraday you want to just see where lot of oi change is happening lot of oi change so you can quickly just sort this by clicking here and then 
by descending and then see where the actual Y change is happening. And this price change will tell you what is happening. If this Y change and price change combination will tell you whether it's bullish or bearish. These are extremely bearish. A lot of Y has got added and price has gone down. And on the other hand, these are all bullish. Where the Y change, a lot more 12%, 12% Y change is there. So this, generally this, around 8 to 10% or more is significant. Below that, may not be that significant. Some even go for until 5%, but I would say around 10% or more, this is a lot more reliable. So all these are quite reliable. This you can intraday, you can probably check after about 15 minutes, 30 minutes or so and see where the Y change is happening and then go with that. Volume also will tell you morning by in one hour or so, if you see a lot, lot of volume being built up and you would see or see that there's something happening there. If you see incidentally where Y change was happening, that, that was also volume also had changed. Volume is compared to previous day. So previous day is 300%. 372% more volume, that is more than three times volume compared to previous day and Y change also 30% more. So stuff is happening over here. That is what you get to know. This scan is useful for that. Both for positional, positional at the end of the day, I come and check and see if there is significant volume coming into the market or not. What I like to see is I like to see if market is going bullish, price is bullish, then I want to see a ton of these all being positive like these, but these have to be most have to be above 100%, 150% or so. If you go and see previous historical data on some day when it was bullish, then you will know that all this would be more than 100, 100%, 150%, 200%. 200%. So these being only 70, 70%, that is volume is less than previous day. Whereas price is more, it means that there is not significant volume that has come into it. So buying is not there in the markets at the moment. So even though all lots of positives are there, buying is not there. Only these from here, few, only these are four or five scripts that are there where the volume is more than 100%. So double the yesterday's volume. So this is just a little bit higher little bit higher than yesterday, but not 100%. I would say, want to see more than 100% compared to yesterday. So that's about this uh, scan. Now here. Anything you want me to discuss? Multi-strike, why is there? This also will tell you. This also will tell you where, if you select trending strikes, Y change and build up, then it will tell you where the Y change is happening. Now you just have to see over here, come to the end and see whether calls are more or puts are more. In this case, there are two of those are calls and three of those are puts. And the highest, the highest one, topmost one, are two of those are puts. So that is, that just means that there's a lot more Put writing happening. So this, if you monitor uh, during the day, then this is a lot more useful because it tells you what is trending, actually where the actual Y is going and where it is actually changing. This tells you that. It's also, PCR is there, price is there, IV also is there, this yellow is IV. So you can take a look at that. So all these are there. Mainly trending strikes is what is really helpful in this particular tool. Okay, but let me just quickly brief about uh, option strategy charts. Let us take straddle, straddle charts. The way to use these charts is uh, plot a trend indicator. Like I, I like uh, Keltner channels 50 comma 3 on any time frame. Two minutes, three minutes. If you're trading intraday, maybe two minutes, three minutes. People even use five minutes. It depends. So let us take two minutes or even let us take one minute just as an example. 
You don't want to take more risk. So here, plot any trend indicator. And once the market opens, the idea is to, if you are using Keltner channels, the idea is to make sure price is below the Keltner channel. We are shorting this straddle. Shorting this straddle here, price has to be like in the lower band over here. Either below this or below this, definitely not above this. Once if price goes above this, then price for the straddle is increasing. That means you are losing. So here you either get out of the trade or you adjust. So it depends. Adjustments, it, it depends how you want. You have, you'll have to check which side price is going and then maybe add lots on the opposite side or chain strikes or whatever. There are many ways to adjust. You just plain just exit one side. That also can be done. But the idea is to have plot a trend indicator and make sure that your price is just falling below the trend indicator. Once it goes above, either exit and then re-enter somewhere over here once the price falls below the lower band or just keep adjusting. So it depends on that. This is about any, any kind of option strategy charts, you can do the same. If you're trading a spread, say, let me check futures chart. Import, so I plot, uh, say I am against, I'm, I'm going against the trade. I have a short 16.5 and I have bought say 16.3. I think that the market is going down and I probably short over here. Similarly, I have shorted this over here. And again, if you have plotted some trend, some trend based uh, indicator, if you have bought over here, anticipating that market is going to, you have bought a bearish put spread, shorted 16.5 and bought 16.3. So you are expecting a bearish move. So spread, when you plot spread, whatever the direction, whether it is, this is a bullish spread, Whatever is the spread, the price has to go up for you to profit. If, if it goes down, then you are in a loss. So this, if you see the price immediately reverse from here. So this, if you have purchased us, if you have bought this spread over here, then you would exit over here. Or you can adjust. How would you adjust? You can get this up a little bit. So you are, maybe you see here and then you see it has gone below your price and then over here also this is consolidating so you probably get get this closer so, sorry 16.3 so 16.4 you're getting it closer to this so you adjust a little bit so you brought this here but market still keeps going down so now over here say this has broken above the high so probably around 10.45 or after 10.45 or so over here you just flip the trade to bullish. If you want to do that, you have to take, change this strike to above this. So either you go to 16.6 or 16.7. You want, don't want to take much risk, you go to 16.6. This will become a bullish trade now. So around over here, 10.49 or so, you have flipped the trade to bullish. You can ride it here as long as it keeps going up. Let's just keep it going. You have flipped it over here, somewhere over here. You have bought it, changed, converted it to a bullish. You don't want to take risk, just keep very less between these two strikes. If you want more, more bullish, you're very bullish, make this. This will be a lot more stronger. It'll keep going. If, you, if your direction, you have called the direction right, then this will give you more profit. Now, this, the Whatever the spread. Now this you have converted to, from a debit spread, you have converted it to a credit spread. So now this is bull put credit spread. So here the price will be shown as negative. Even if this is shown as negative, because you have got a credit, this is credit. Now this, this credit has to go towards zero for you to profit. So negative also. 
this has to become less and less the price has to go up so whatever way you plot this spread the price has to go up for you to profit so this is what it is if you have any question let me know so any trade you take if you take a bearish trade here and by this time over here your view has changed the same trade you can change you can just change instead of changing the both pull closing of the whole trade and and going for a call bull spread you can just change it to pull put spread by just taking this strike above this strike you are converted to bullish trade you can write this and this is not just true for intraday obviously you can do this same for positional you can just initiate a single spread for the week and just just, just keep riding whichever direction price goes you can ride based on you just need some point of reference some indicator for you to indicate that the spread is bullish or bearish and then keep changing it you can change either based on your market analysis on the index chart or you can change this way excuse me just a second huh? let me just take this home sorry just a second yeah sorry about that so any questions about this you can and all sorts of spreads can be plotted over here you can even plot a calendar spread so if you want to plot a calendar spread you can say you are shorting this and then sorry you are shorting this and you can buy this or buy maybe the next week itself you can buy this same strike different expiries same analysis will be same if you are bullish then probably uh this would be lower then it will be bullish these are again these are calendar spreads if this is higher then this would be bullish you have shorted 165 and then as a hedge you are buying next week's 163 below this this calendar spreads these are calendar spreads this also these are much better traded positionally of course people trade intraday also but excellent positional trades calendar spread you, you can and not only this you, when you trade do look at portfolio tracker also you can create your strategies over here the same calendar spread example see i sell 165 put add uh, next week we buy 163 uh, i buy 163 you can analyze trade over here this is a slightly bullish calendar spread slightly tilted toward if it keeps going to the upside the risk is lesser here slightly more here so based on your view you can and this is the regular calendar spread regular calendar spread over here so do look at portfolio tracker also you can use this your risk adjustments and actually adjustments visually using the payoff chart is also going to be very useful this is the other way to trade uh, spreads and this is one way to trade spreads yeah questions any questions excuse me please uh, let me take
Yeah, any questions, please? Or should we close? Hi, sir. Uh, is there anything particular for option buyers? <laughs> some strategies or some... Uh... This uh, spreads that I just talked about uh, are all for option buyers, actually. So okay. you, if, you're buying, if you're buying a spread, you can, I mean, say if you are... Uh, and do the same thing as a call spread. Basically, just this is, a, this is going to be a... Like, this is going to be a vertical spread. Now this is for buyers. If so you're buying a spread over here, and also the earlier one when I uh, talked about uh, uh, option Y breakup, and then looking at option charts, that was again buying and selling both. I said you can you can either buy a call or short a put. So that was also about buying. Okay, sir. Okay. So yeah. Unless there are any questions, uh, we'll just close it. Is that it? Okay, then I'm stopping it right now over here.